Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Coaster Credits here today, and I am doing a POV and review of uh, Steel Vengeance. Now, this is Cedar Point's official POV of Steel Vengeance. Um, this is at my home park, and it's just to start off, the lift hill, very loud. If on, um, well, it's really loud because I think they just want to say, Oh, hey, what's that loud noise on the other side of the park? Oh, is that the new ride for 2018? Steel Vengeance? Um, but the overall ride, the drop is not the best part. My favorite part is either the second inversion, the one of the, um, the hills diving down into the structure, I think it's the first one or the second one this but the outer bank turn gives so much air time but this feels like a normal zero zero g roll but this that was not even like there's no air time okay yeah, this is my favorite part because it's just how how it just kicks you back and i rode this before they started trimming the mid course breaker and running three trains i also got to ride it during one train operations you get a lot of air time right here but overall the ride it it's my it's number one for me number one coaster for me that was my one of my also favorite parts i love that part because you just see like you swoosh by um the only like the only thing i dislike about it is probably one turn and it's coming up right here when you roll, go back to the side and go to the left real quick and like that but the this is also really good. Six airtime hills back to back to back. But it, it, it's just so incredible. And when you hit the breaker and you're like, whoa, what just hit me? And it's like, oh, wow. But the, the Cedar Point hyped this up for two years. It was... It was, it was kind of their marketing plan just to build it two years and then gain all the hype now if you guys think about it this way this was probably planned because each park runs off a five-year plan since gatekeeper was built if that is correct they've had this in mind since gatekeepers built now that means like oh 2020 was built was well, not built stupid was a plan since 2015, which was, um, Ruguru. Um, 2020 thoughts will be probably another video. But, this airtime hell gives you little, little to no airtime, in my personal opinion. I think you get more airtime. Probably going into the, the break run, I would say. Now, I do have 27 rides on this. Because I do go there quite often with my Platinum Pass. And I just partner off with my family. This park is very simple. It only has two pathways. Two main pathways going in the back. Um, if you guys want me to do any more reviews about anything at this park. Just post them in the comments. Um, but RMC I think is personally one of the biggest in the industry right now. But this coaster I think really put them over everybody. Intamin B and M. B and M's just on the more safe side. But I love how they move the camera from that third inversion to the outer to the yeah, outer after the outer bank because you weren't getting good angles. But overall, it is my it's number one material. It is my number one over something like El Toro and uh just like another like Banshee or something. But that will consist of my review of Steel Vengeance and POV discussing it and what I really liked about it. Thanks for watching. Costa Credits. Out.